Hi there, and welcome to the show. You're listening to another episode. Every other Tuesday, I release a short bit about whatever's going on in the Parks household or whatever's in my head at the time. It's a way for you to get to know me a little better in between my rare disease interviews. Last week, I got to go to Atlanta, Georgia for a conference through my work at Global Genes. And at the very tail end of it, I got a text message. And guess who it was? The newest member of the CTNNB1 family, little baby. She's so cute. Anyways, she lives in Atlanta and my husband is the one who told me and he was like, hey, guess what? There's a new family. You should go meet him if you can. And so (laughs) in between the time of waiting for my Uber and getting to the airport after it was all over, I asked her if she could come to my hotel and she did. And she even let me hold her baby the entire time. But it was just so lucky, right, that I got to be there and that I got to see her and she got to see me. And it wasn't just this looming, scary CTNNB1 thing of isolation and newness all by herself, right? And it got me thinking because she told me how their diagnosis delivery, which wasn't great, very standard, I think, to a lot of the deliveries that we get. I know many of you know the way we got ours, but there's not a lot of happy news to share. Obviously, it's a very sad thing, but there was also just no hope whatsoever given. I wasn't led to our advocacy group that did exist. I wasn't led to a Facebook group. Even the advocacy group that did exist when I typed in CT and NB1 after I found out the diagnosis didn't even pull up on Google. Like it wasn't ranked high enough that it even showed up. So I didn't even know there was an advocacy group even after I had looked. Pro tip, search your gene in the .org for anyone else because you might find it that way. I wish I would have done that, but I was a little flustered. So anyways, what it got me to thinking was, how about we change this if we can? You know how much I love genetic counselors. They're always like a warm hug, but I'm not sure in many of their offices, maybe it depends on where they're at, maybe it depends on the geneticist that they're working under, I'm not sure, if they have really everything they need to really provide a family with accurate, up-to-date, and hopeful information. So I want to be a part of changing that. So I made a little post about how I'm going to make a list, okay? So here's where I need you. I want to make a list with your gene, the name of the disease, if it has a name other than the gene, and the address to the advocacy group, and the address to the Facebook group, or to the WhatsApp group, or to the Discord group, and I'm going to make a big old list. And somehow, I'm going to get it in the hands of as many of those 5,000 genetic counselors across the country as I can. Because even in that short window, maybe short for some, of getting this diagnosis and being told all of these horrible things to somehow driving home, getting home and taking care of your family and then later looking online, that can already cause so much damage that really doesn't go away unless you work on it. Or maybe you can just let things bounce back easier than some. But what I know for sure is that if we as families were given this devastating diagnosis, but if we were also told, hey, you're not alone, here's your advocacy group. Here are the pictures of some of the kids. Look at their smiles. These families are the experts, and they're going to be the ones that can tell you what your kids are going to do. Not some published paper that I found that's 11 years old. These families are your people, and they're going to help you in all of the ways. And it's going to be a little more of a buffer from lava-filled world-ending moment to, okay, here are my people. Here are some resources. I have someone to ask all of my questions to. I have a link to where I can find out all of these other things. And do you know what I believe that it does? I believe that it empowers us even more to understand that there is something we can do. And that's like what kind of advocate you end up being, right? And maybe you don't want to be an advocate, but you're always going to be an advocate in one way or another. Maybe it's to some friends in your neighborhood a mom's group that you make or at school, like whatever your gifts are. But I believe that if we could lessen some of the giant burning lava explosion, that us as families can go home and 
take action sooner and have a clearer head around what's possible and start making connections sooner. And I fully believe that we can have a richer and more empowered and more confident and more stable baseline if we were given just a sliver more hope and actual resources other than the standard ones that I know sometimes are given. Because even those websites are sterile and they don't really connect to you as a family who've just entered this world. So I yammered on there for a while, but here's what I need you to do. Please open up your email, address it to hello at onceuponagene.com. And in the subject line, Operation O-U-A-G. Okay, that's very important. Put the subject line so I can get these all organized because there's hundreds of them coming through. And then in the email itself, please tell me the gene, the name if there is one, and the links to the advocacy groups and or Facebook groups. And if you'd like to share anything about the way your diagnosis delivery was for you, good or bad, please share a little bit about that too. So yeah, if you could help me with this little exercise, I believe that we can raise a more empowered, less traumatized, and more confident advocate, family, all of it. And it's only going to make things move faster because this is important. Anyways. I really appreciate that help. And another way that you could help is to just post about it. Share share this status when I post it. So other families in your rare disease Facebook groups or local groups can also go to it if they're not super entrenched in our rare disease community. Share this so I can get all of these beautiful genes on our list and get it in the hands of the people delivering our diagnoses. 